Okay guys, quick tip. Uh, if you want your uh, lawn mowers, four wheelers, whatever you let sit all winter, uh, if you want them to start next spring, um, I suggest you use some sort of uh, fuel stabilizer in your fuel. Um, this prevents um, the fuel from going bad, which when it goes bad, it turns to varnish and um, you can get gum. All that stuff, really bad for the carburetor. Um, you may get away with uh, without doing this for a little while, but if you don't do this every year, um, eventually um, you're going to have to take that carb off and clean it because uh, um, Fuel goes bad. Yeah, it says on here 30 days it can go bad. Probably 30 days you're going to be okay. But, uh, you know, over the winter you're going to leave something set. Um, I suggest using some sort of stabilizer. I guess you can use sea foam. I think that's a lot more expensive than this. Um, it says um, one ounce. Um, for two and a half gallons and then it says here over treatment is safe and will not harm engines so that's probably what I'm going to do and I'm going to over treat all my stuff here and uh, they will start um, really nice in the spring I've done this with my mower I think my mower is uh, 14 years old my John Deere now uh, pretty much uh, every year same with my weed eater and I have not touched the carburetor on any of those. So I'm going to uh, stabilize my fuel uh, for the year. It's getting about that time. Um, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, so basically, uh, you just pour it right in the fuel tank. Um, I usually just, if you want to, you know, make sure you got the exact amount you can. I just guesstimate how much um, fuel is in there. Um, I over, um, over treat. Like I said, it won't hurt if you over treat it. Um, and then I let the let the machine run for a few minutes. Because you want that uh, stabilizer to go all through the fuel system into the carburetor and everything. So, um. okay. So some people are probably going to say uh, that's not how you winterize something. Uh, I'm only doing uh, half the steps. Well, that's all I do to winterize my stuff. I don't leave my stuff sit all winter long. Um, you know, about once a month, I go and uh, start all my stuff up. Um, whenever we get a warm day in the winter, I'll go out and fire everything up, let it run for five minutes or so. Um, so I don't feel the need to have to fog my carburetor or pull the spark plugs um, or, or, or do anything, anything like that. Um, this is how, that's how I do it guys. Uh, you know, if you want to do it differently, that's, uh, that's up to you. Just showing you guys what I do. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully it'll save you some headaches in the spring or down the road. Um, I'll see you in the next one.